family is grieving on this Father's Day. That's after Willie Smith was murdered in Florida last week when someone beat him to death. Today, his daughter spoke with Fox 59 about the kind of person her father was. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid reports on this tragic case. Willie Smith was 55 years old, but he had kidney disease, which was keeping him from continuing with his career in the automotive services industry. Willie Smith kept his dialysis appointment in Lafayette last Tuesday, and then headed a half hour away to Flora in Carroll County. According to the sheriff's, he stopped at an ATM machine in Lafayette, took out $120, went to uh, Flora to meet this young lady, and she wasn't there. Instead, there was a young man there. Tyrone Leffridge would allegedly be that young man now arrested for the attack that claimed Smith's life. When he got there, Sharon said he threatened him and Will pulled out a pocket knife. And they were arguing and uh, that's when one of the other two ladies hit him in the head with the bat. Smith's family learned the details of his death when they say Leffridge called them from jail last Friday. We were very surprised, but we could also we also know that he's very young and he's scared. He didn't know that my father was um, died. He thought that he was just beat up really bad, so he doesn't want those murder charges because he said he didn't do it. He just robbed. Leffridge faces aggravated battery and robbery charges for now. Doctors determined Smith could not recover from his head injuries. Jeanette Smith decided her father's death could still lead to someone else's life. Today, actually, I just got a call from the Donor Foundation. He actually gave a lung and a liver to two people today. He was a great guy and he didn't deserve this. But in this, he is a hero. He did donate. He did save two people's lives today. Florida police are not releasing any more information on the case. Leffridge has a date in court in Carroll County tomorrow afternoon. In the newsroom, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.